Okay, so this video is going to be a rant or rambling video. And the topic that I'm going to be on is awkward moments. And the reason why I'm doing it is like I, 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 I woke up and I kind of sort of had this on my mind because it's something that happened the other day while I was at the thrift store. So I figured I would compile a list of the things that have happened to me over the course of my life and some awkward moments that I had and I was curious if anybody else had these moments and what did they think of them. Alright, so the one I'm going to start with is the one that happened recently. I went into the thrift store. Uh, harmless enough, right? I'm just going in the thrift store, look at some vintage stuff, get me some nice clothes and look at the shoes and check out the random toys that's in the section and look at the electronics and get this and all the other miscellaneous junk that is in the thrift store. So, I go into the thrift store and I'm not even in there for five minutes that feeling that somebody is like watching me or close to me so I turn around and I look and there's this guy standing there um innocently enough and I I, I, I just completely dismiss it and I go yeah I'm in the store uh there's going to be other people in the store all right so let's fast forward a little bit I go over to the electronics section I'm looking around everything and I look out the corner of my eye and like two steps away from me is this guy. Alright. I don't really think much of it at that time and I didn't see anything over in that section so I walked over to where the ladies' skirts and dresses and stuff like that over to the ladies' department. So I'm at this, this skirt section and I'm looking through and I have this rule of thumb. I go to the first store on a day where stuff is half off. If it's not half off, I stop myself from getting it so I don't like splurge. But that's just a tidbit there. Okay, so I'm looking through stuff, I'm looking at these dresses, and this little skirt thing, and I'm looking at it, and, and it's one of those ones that I'm trying to figure out is it really a skirt or was it like one of those half dress things? Or is it a top? Because it was like super short, but and I'm quite sure if, if, if you've seen one of those things, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm doing that, and out of the corner of my eye, it's the same guy. And he is like one step even closer to me, um, and he's not even looking at the rack. Like he's like so close that you would think that maybe we were there together. And at that point, I guess because, and don't judge me, I'm a little bit uh, phobic when it comes to my personal space. I just let go of the little dress, skirt, slash, whatever it was, and walk down the, um, down the aisle a little bit more and started looking at stuff again. So I'm looking at the stuff, and stuff that I like, you know, making my, my choice about whether or not I'm going to get it, blah, blah, blah. And I feel like this puff of like air go past me and I look and it's him walking in front of me to the part of the aisle that's like right the next spot that I would be looking at. So here I am getting ready to reach over and grab something and he's right there and I'm looking at him like and our eyes like in this really awkward moment. Okay, so I still am at this point trying to fight off the whole paranoid somebody's following me thing. And I just walk around and go to the, the women's jeans section. And I said to myself, oh, you need to stop tripping. Nobody ain't paying you no mind, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I kid you not. This dude did not skip a beat. He was right there up on me in my personal space like this and I'm like I guess technically at that point I, I kind of sort of lost my food and I just said uh, is there something I can help you with and the dude just sat there doing this 
Alright, needless to say, I went ahead about doing my shopping and he just happened to be in at the end of almost every aisle staring down at me until I left. Okay. <laughs> That's the first first question I wanted to ask. Have you ever had somebody follow you in the store and you knew that they were really following you in the store and what did you do and how did you react? <laughs> I mean, how did you respond to that? Alright, the next one. And this one has happened to me a lot. Can I touch your hand? Can, can I touch it? Can I touch your hair? Can I, can I, oh, can I touch your hair? And then there's the ones that really try to irritate me. Can I touch my hair? Can, can I touch your hair? And your hand is already in like the grab mode of almost in your head. Miss. Now, I can I don't quite sure you can tell from the gestures I just made. I ain't feeling that. So this one time in particular that that happened, the one I'm standing in Target and I'm in the little hair section where all the uh, natural hair products and whatever else is in the aisle. This woman walks past me, and I'm still looking through stuff, looking, at, doing what most, a lot of people do when I'm looking at the labels, and, I, and, and, and I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. And, and I'm putting stuff back on this stuff. This is, I guess, I don't know if I came off of the hand, but this or if I had the, if I had the right to really say what I, I to say it at, at this point, I don't know. I, I guess that might sound kind of funny the way that I'm just saying the right to you because I should be able to say what I want to say to somebody I can ask you but hmm, that's a whole nother topic. But I said to her, and I quote, no offense, but I don't even know your name. I don't know where your hands have been, and I really would not want you touching my hair. And by this point, there are other women in the aisle with us, and this one woman just out the, just, just, I guess she was listening, she just turned around, she was like, I wouldn't want nobody touching my hair either. You, you, you go girl, I don't, I don't want nobody touching my hair either. <laughs> I mean, and then I just turned around and looked, I was like, so it's not just me? <laughs> and the woman who asked this question looked like she was just mortified, just just plain mortified or an just angry. I, I don't know. She, that's just the look that she had. And so it just got real quiet <laughs> in the aisle. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to ask is, is kind of sort of like an offshoot of that. Like you had coworkers or family or like extended family or somebody that's close to you or something like that who asked to touch your hair and they touch it and then they say, oh, it's so soft. And I'm like thinking to myself, how is it supposed to have felt? But is that just me with stuff like that? Why do people seem like? They just seem like to have some type of issue mentally about the way that certain texture hair is supposed to feel. Like they have a predisposition that it's supposed to feel like a Brillo pad or something. And, <laughs> and it just it just does not it doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't. Alright, and this last one is basically one of those ones that I guess is kind of, I don't know, I don't know what category to put this one in, but I'm just going to encapsulate it as really bad attempts to pick somebody up. Okay, I'm just going to put it all in that, in that category. So, I'm out doing my shopping, mind my business, and this guy approaches me 
just ask, starts asking me some questions, right? No, normal questions. So I'm not trying to be rude, and I'm answering his questions, right? So we get to the point that he tries to um, say we went to the same school together, and I'm looking at him like, "What school are you talking about?" And he says, "High school," and I'm like. There's no way we went to the same high school together. And he says, oh, no, don't you remember me? Blah, 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 right? And I'm like, unless you had a sex change, you didn't go to the same high school as me. I went to an all-girls school. And <laughs> that was probably one of the most awkward moments I've had. Anyway, this movie is getting really long. And I wanted to just say thanks for um, all the responses and stuff like that. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think about the questions, if it ever actually happened to you, make a video, you want to hit, hit the little comments, you know, comment, anyway, thanks for watching, bye.